What's up guys? Today we're going to show you how we rig up this SEAC Sting 45 centimeter spear gun. And uh, yeah, let's get started. We're going to add a muzzle bungee. This doesn't come with the gun. This is a uh, little clip swivel muzzle bungee. And we've got our 300 pound monofilament. This is 1.8 millimeters. Um, we've got our Bill Fisher double barrel comp copper crimps. These are the 1.9 size, suitable for the 300 pound. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So first of all, this gun comes with a little bit of nylon rope. We're gonna disregard this and only use that as a replacement if needed. But we prefer to use the monofilament. So let's start by putting on this muzzle bungee. You're just going to take, I've added a little piece of twine or this is a, a piece of metal, metal wire that <clears throat> allows me to insert this muzzle bungee through the muzzle bungee eye a little bit easier. So we'll, we got that. We'll grab our little pair of pliers to help pull that through. And once that's pulled through, I'm just going to take that and loop it through itself. All right, there's our muzzle bungee installed. Just like that, and we'll start with the monofilament. We're going to grab a double barrel crimp, crimp and insert that. You want to make sure it's a nice tight fit with your monofilament, and we will start with the Inserting it through, inserting it through that eye hole of the shaft there. We've got our muzzle bungee, I mean our double barrel crimp inserted, and we're gonna reinsert it and make a little loop. So we got our loop like that, and now we're gonna reinsert it into the spear gun to check the fit. So got it in there. We'll lock it into place. that locked in and then we'll just slide that double barrel crimp back till it gets nice and even with that little notch right there so you've got that we're gonna go ahead and grab our scissors some nice scissors and snip that off pull it back out Now we will grab our lighter, pull that, pull that down all the, pull that all the way down. Give yourself a little bit so you can get in there and burn that. Give yourself a little mushroom so it's not gonna slip out on you. You got that. Now it's time to crimp. I'm using these extra large crimpers. You don't need anything this big. The $30 ones will work just fine, but you just want to leave yourself about a millimeter millimeter or two on each side when you're doing your crimp. So you get a nice crimp and it's not going to slip out or cut your monofilament. So here's what the first crimp looks like. See that? All right. Well, 
flop that on top of our notch. Slide that back into the spear gun. Now we're going to go around that little point right here, back through to our line release right here, and back through the muzzle bungee. got that we're just gonna now now from here you're just gonna take your line and pull about an inch on that muzzle bungee pinch pinch right there get yourself a nice little marker so you know where your muzzle where your crimp's supposed to be and cut off that excess grab another Crimp, slide it through. Make a loop. Now you got your other, I like to make these nice and small. About like that. And go ahead and cut that excess off. Slide it through again. Nice and tight, give yourself a little bit to burn. Right there. Grab our crimpers again. Make sure you're going in the right notch. This is the 364th notch that I'm using. I'm going to put links in the description of where I'm getting all this stuff from, all this monofilament and these uh, Bill Fisher copper crimps. And uh, there we go. I think we're ready to go. Now we can go ahead and attach this to the line release and test, test it out. These muzzle bungees are nice because they help make it a lot easier to load the spear gun. When you've got gloves on especially, it's hard to get in there and uh, hard to get in there and get your finger around that when you've got a nice tight shooting line. So that gives us a little bit so we can grab onto this muzzle bungee, pull it, and then slide it onto the line release. So there you are, you're all set up, ready to go. Muzzle bungee installed. That's all there is to it. The SEAC spear gun rigged, ready to go. Hope you guys got some good info out of this video and uh, let me know if you have any questions.